Hello everyone, in this video we're going to walk through uh, some new tips and tricks using um, the map maker on ArcGIS.com. Uh, you can follow along if you already have a free ArcGIS online account. Uh, if you don't, I highly encourage you to just go to ArcGIS.com and sign up for one. And once you do, um, you'll see here in the middle that you've got this option here to click on map and that's just going to allow us to start building maps. So just as a refresher, quickly, ArcGIS.com allows you to build all sorts of interactive uh, web-based and mobile uh, maps and applications on all sorts of interesting things. So it's it's a nice way to do some quick um, web map, web-based mapping. Uh, a lot of the tools that are included also are very similar to the ones in the desktop software. And once you get started, uh, it's got a nice little kind of um, right up here on, on how to make your map, uh, choosing an area, deciding what to show, add more data to your map and you know save it and so on and so forth. So it's pretty easy to use. Um, one of the things that most of you are aware of if you've spent any time using this tool before uh, is that you've got this nice option to select a base map. And so if for some reason you don't like the default one that's loaded, you can use imagery. And remember, this is just the image or that's going to uh, be shown behind all the data that you eventually load. And so they have a bunch of nice predefined uh, sources here. But if for some reason one of these isn't quite what you're looking for and you want to use something else, I, I want to introduce you to a, another site many of you are probably already familiar with. Uh, but that's the data.gov website. Uh, so the U.S. government and uh, many state and local governments have been publishing more and more data online and much of this data is geospatial in nature. And so as a result, a lot of this is data that is published out through some sort of a web map service, uh, either an ArcGIS web map service or an OGC compliant web map service or, or whatever. And, and basically what that means is that a lot of this data is data that you don't necessarily even have to download. You can just simply load directly into an online uh, web-based mapping account. Um, so it's pretty nice. And one of the ones that I stumbled on that I thought was particularly interesting uh, was this USGS base map and so this is the USGS topo base map um, it's similar to the topo map that's available in ArcGIS.com but it's different uh, and you'll see down here it's got this web mapping service here so uh, if you go to data.gov and you simply search for USGS topo base map from the national map this will pop up and you know it has a nice viewer here if you just kind of want to get a preview of how the what it is that you're going to be loading in but what i want you to pay attention to is this this is the url for the actual web mapping service and so what you can do is simply copy this url here go back to your map and remember what we're doing is we're not adding yet any data or anything we're just going to change basically the appearance of your map right and so I'm just going to go up to add and I'm going to click on add layer from web right because that's the source and it's going to ask me what kind of data are you referencing so in this case we're not actually referencing an ArcGIS server web service we're, uh, we're actually using an OGC web service so I'm going to select that as my option and then here where it says URL I'm just going to paste that URL that it grabbed from the previous page uh, and then finally here, I just want to tell it I want to use this as the base map, right? So what that's going to do if it loads correctly is I will see the new USGS topo base map as the background or the backdrop for my map. All right, so there it is. So this is a new option now, right, that I have. I didn't have this base map available before. Uh, and if that's kind of the look and feel that I want, um, then I'm off and running. So that's one nice thing that you'll find on the, the data deck of website and within uh, the ArcGIS online environment as far as something you could change. Now there's another way uh, to, to add data and so obviously we've changed the base map but maybe I want to add some data from the actual data deck of website the same way. Um, by going to the data deck of catalog You'll see here we've got a lot of fantastic ways to, to browse and, and sort and query the data available. 
If I want to look just at geospatial data sets, I can select it here on the left under data set type. I can break it down further by the tags or the agency that offers the data or even the format of the data itself. And you'll see here we have a lot of GIS uh, ready file formats to, to pull in. So if I select ArcGIS map services, those are additional map services I can load. The Esri REST services are also layers that I can pull in. Then, of course, you know if you've watched any of the other videos, a lot of these are the data sets. If they have some sort of uh, a geospatial reference, you can uh, pull them in with a little bit of work with the desktop software. So um, when I was kind of flipping through here, one of the other interesting layers that I found was a raster layer. Um, and this isn't really health specific, of course, but it's just kind of a neat example of, of some of the data sets that are coming online or have been. Uh, this one, obviously, it looks like it's been out for a bit. Um, but this is uh, basically uh, a vessel density, and I believe it is uh, representing, yeah, it's representing density of all vessel traffic in 2011 for the U.S. Atlantic. Um, so to load this, it's essentially the same process. Um, you'll see here on the right, I've got this link to click on ArcGIS.com to load it uh, essentially as a map service. And when I do that, it's going to essentially bring me into a new map and have the data set loaded. And this is just kind of a nice way that I can kind of preview what I'm eventually going to be pulling into my map. Um, it's, kind of, you know, it's a pretty cool data set. Um, so what I want to do though is obviously I want to get this raster layer loaded onto the map that I've been setting up. So when I go back to this page and scroll down a little bit, you'll see some other options. And one of them here is for web mapping service, right? So when I click on that, I'll get the service. And again, I'm really looking for this. I'm looking for the URL. I'm going to copy that, go back to my map. And now I'm going to go back, add, add data from, or add layer from the web. And that should be fine, OGC web service. And add it here. I'm not using it, obviously, as a base map because I just want to drop it on top of the map. And then there we go. And now I've got my topo map plus this new pretty cool looking layer. All right. So the data in these examples may not plug together. Uh, I, I'm not really trying to tell a story necessarily with this, but I, I just want to sort of introduce you to some of the data sets that are out there and uh, kind of encourage you to go out and explore a little bit on your own. So if I were to go back to the data.gov website here, um, just another example. Uh, here I've, I've basically queried it. You can see what I kind of broke out. I'm looking for just federal government data uh, that uh, it's uh, in an ArcGIS map service format and of course that's geospatial. So when I browse through here, one of the interesting data sets I find is this Health and Human Services Health Resources uh, data source. Uh, this is basically going to be a map service that gives me all the home health services, nursing homes, hospitals, and federally qualified health center locations. Um, and so here on the left, I want to click on ArcGIS map service. And again, it's going to take me to this page. And what I'll want to do here, you can see uh, basically what the, the, another nice thing here, right, is it's telling you exactly what's in the in the layer. So I've got hospitals broken down by size, medical centers, federal qualified health centers, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to have a lot of data in there. It's also got some metadata down here on the rest of it. But in this case, what I'm going to do is simply grab this URL, copy it, go back, go back to add, add layer from web, and in this case it's not an OGC web service, but it's an ArcGIS server web service. I'll paste it here and click add layer, and there we go. So now I've got all this great data loaded in. Now there's a lot of stuff here, so you know if this isn't quite what you're looking for, you can filter the data a bit. We can uh, go into it. Maybe I only want to look at hospitals, for example. It's still a lot, but they'll rescale. And that's just a nice way to add some additional information. And again, you can always add your own information on top of that. So finally, just as a reminder, now we've gone out to the web, right? And we've grabbed these web services and we've 
we've pulled them in. Um, but you know, you don't have to do that if you, if you just want to augment your your own map with some additional information. Uh, you can also just do this, right? I can just go search for layers, and that's going to search everything that's available on the Esri site. So, for example, uh, one I found uh, not too long ago that I thought was pretty cool was the CDC's uh, flu information. So if I do a search for a CDC flu here, whoops, flu, and I'm going to uncheck this within map area. So see here, they're um, posting the weekly flu surveillance information, which is pretty neat data. And so this will be uh, for the continental US. Uh, but if I select it here, it'll tell me a little bit of information about it. And I'm going to click add. And when I scroll out here a little bit, you'll see that we're looking now at the flu information for the United States uh, through the week ending January 19th. All right, so once that loads, we're now looking at the weekly flu surveillance uh, data. Uh, for uh, the week ending January 19th, and I can click on any of the states and get some additional information. I can go to the URL of the state, for example. Uh, and with all these layers, you know, if, if for some reason you don't like the way that they're set up, you do have some ability to change them. So, for example, if you want to get rid of the greens and just, uh, you know, concentrate really on kind of the areas that are identified here as level 10 with the uh, most severe instances of, uh, of flu, then you can do that. And it's a simple matter of uh, clicking on this little triangle here on the upper right of the layer and clicking it down on change symbols and then just picking the color you want to change and changing it or, or making it transparent or, or whatever. In any case. All right, so I hope that gives you some ideas of, of what you can do with uh, ArcGIS online uh, and with data sources that you find on the web.